Greetings, all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends. A warm welcome to every one of you from your pastor Yeti. Today in Streams in the Desert, we're going to talk about we were harassed at every turn. Why is it that God leads us in this way? allowing such strong and constant pressure on us. One of our purposes, one of His purposes, is to show us His all-sufficient strength and grace more efficiently than if we were free from difficulties and trials. We have this treasure in jars of clay, to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Another purpose is to bring us a greater awareness of our dependence upon Him. God is constantly trying to teach us how dependent we are on Him that we are held completely by His hand and brilliant on His care alone. This is exactly where Jesus Himself stood and where He desires us to stand. We must not stand with self-made strength, but always leaning upon Him. And our stand must exhibit a trust, exhibit, I mean, a trust that would never dare to take even one step alone. This will teach us to trust Him more. There is no way to learn of faith except through trials. They are God's school of faith. And it is much better for us to learn to trust Him than to live a life of enjoyment. And once the lesson of faith has been learned, it is an everlasting possession and an eternal fortune gained. Yet without trusting God, even great riches will leave us in poverty. Why must I weep when others sing? To test the deeps of suffering? Why must I work while others rest? To spend my strength at God's request? Why must I lose while others gain? To understand defeats, sharp pain? Why must this lot of life be mine when that which fairer seems is thine? Because God knows what plans for me will blossom in eternity. I think my beautiful people that we all recognize us in these words. We are so much doing it by ourselves so many times. And every time, at least as as we give attention to our lives, we come to the reality that we were working in our own strength. Are we able to do work and giving solutions to problems, yes, we are able to do that. But there is an inner source deep in us that wants to lead us in everything we do. 
There is one, one that holds us so dearly in the palm of His hand. That is our Father, who wants to lead and help to comfort our life in any way, in any corner. And yes, sometimes we have to face trials. We go through sufferings. We are not different from our Christ. But hear this: He won. He won victoriously, and that's why you have to lift up your eyes, your your eyes to Him, the One who loves you, unconditional, and He is able to walk with you through every trial, through every suffering, through everything. That brings you in a position that you have to say, "Lord, I'm not able." And even if you would say, "Well, I can do it without my God," because sometimes I think we have kind of an attitude like that. Still, He walks with you because He is gentle. God gives His promises to us that He will never abandon us. And that's a promise, and that is a yes and an amen. Consider, my dear friends, the time frame you are in, the life you live, the opportunity that God is giving you, and what the world gives you. Life in Christ, life is a choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we all say together, in one beautiful accord, that Thy is the kingdom. The power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear ones, let God touch you in a way that you've never been touched. Never say to yourself and to others, "There is enough of me that I'm able to do my life." God has a desire to bring you as the closest part as ever you can be. But you are free to do what you want to do, because God is love, and there is no control. May you find peace within, my dear ones. This is your pastor Yeri. Bye.